Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 35, and today we're talking about the reverb module. So let's right-click the display port, in it preset, and let's add in the first one, which is Rev1. So this is Zebra's original reverb module, and it has two different modes. We have the regular one here. And then we have Metal Verb, which is a little bit wider and more artificial, but it's my personal favorite. So this reverb has this regular reverb controls and it also has a diffuser as well. So first things first, the pre-delay. So this is basically the time it takes from when a note is played until the reverb is heard. So you can always have something really long. Or something kind of short. Now for these different range knobs here, these are for the main one and for the diffuser as well, is basically the reverb and diffusion decay time length. And then we have the feedback knobs here, which is how much the reverb signal is fed back into the reverb input. So keep in mind that the room size is determined by the range and feedback parameters here. So you kind of have to dial these both into taste to kind of simulate the size of the room. And something interesting in the manual, if you want to have this infinite type of reverb here, put the range, the feedback, put these all the way at maximum and have the dampening at zero. When you hit a note, it will just kind of go on forever. Okay, that is enough of that here. So let's, <laughs> that sounds so weird. Okay, let's go back to a new preset here and let's load up the reverb once again. So we have this damping, right? So take a listen to how this sounds right now. Let's give it some more wet. So basically the higher frequencies fade out a little bit faster because there's a low pass filter in the feedback loop. Kind of makes it a little bit warmer sounding. And then we have the speed nubs here, which is the LFO rates that modulate the feedback and the range controls here. So take a listen to this. And then over here, we have the mod controls over here. So this is the LFO levels that modulate the range and the feedback knobs. I'm personally not a too big fan of these modulation knobs here as well. I kind of like bringing those a little bit down, if not entirely out of the mix, because it kind of changes the, the... So take a listen. This is what I mean. We're kind of hearing the pitch change of these reverb. Which can be cool for a lot of stuff, but I kind of tend to remove these entirely. So that's without it, and let's bring this back and you'll see what I'm talking about here. It almost gives a little bit of a pitch wobble kind of, right? And I suppose if we remove these, But definitely it's up to you and seeing what you like, but that's what those here do. Then we have our dry and wet signal here that we can mix into taste. And then also the same controls are gonna be down over here for the metal reverb, just a little bit different algorithm, but it's my personal favorite from this module here. All right, so the next reverb module here, let's disable this right here, and then let's go to new verb here, or new rev. So they call this one from the manual a smooth plate reverb with pre-delay. So we do have pre-delay here, like we talked about before, right? So the delay when a note is struck until we hear the reverb. And this one's a little bit simpler, right? A little bit less controls to worry about. We have the size, let's bring this pre-delay down, maybe somewhere around 20, that's fine, and increase the size here. And 
and then the decay of the reverb so if we want to have a long decay let that tail kind of fade out over a long period of time increase this bad boy And then the dampening, same thing as before, it lets the high frequencies dial out or fade out a little bit quicker than the low ones due to a filter. And then we have the tone control. So really the tone and the damping is really where we're going to really carve our sound of our reverb, right? It's a very strong tilting EQ. So we turn it to the left here. Let's bring up our wet a little bit. <laughs> And then bring us to the right. You're going to hear it's a little bit more metallic on the top end as well. So if you're kind of going for maybe a darker, kind of warmer reverb, maybe bring this tone knob a little bit to the left here and kind of dial in the dampening to taste. Because if these are open all the way, if the dampening wasn't even on and this was at default, we're going to have that very metallic-y kind of reverb at the top end. So that's why we'd want to maybe increase our damping here and drop this a little bit to our left. But if we want something really kind of metallic-y and high on the frequencies, then turn this to the right and kind of reduce your dampening. Yeah, so it's really up to you how you want to colorize those two as well. Dampening and tone work very well together. And then down over here we have the width, which is the stereo spread of the reverb. It's a very nice reverb as well. And then last but not least, we have our dry, wet, and rise. Right? So it's basically the, the balance of the processed and unprocessed signal and put it in there to taste as you would like. But yeah, those are the reverb modules. Very cool sounding. I kind of really like the metal reverb in the uh, Rev 1 over here. That's kind of my favorite for this module. And then the new re reverb is actually very cool. So uh, yeah, hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.